Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for Taurus, for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. All right, Taurus, starting off with one from Wisdom of the Oracle. What is the guiding energy for Taurus, please? Mid-February through mid-March 2021. Love, romance, and relationships. What is the guiding energy, please? Okay, Taurus, so we have to be fair. All right, to be fair, offering the energy of peace, seeing things from both sides, from two perspectives, your own and maybe the other person's. Um, when I see this card, I see the scales of balance. It reminds me of the justice card, which would be that Libra energy. I think having major clarity um, and being fair to the other person, even though this may be a really big challenge for some of you, sometimes it can be hard to see why somebody did something when it feels so wrong. But I feel like considering that will help to kind of clear energies um, with this to be fair. So we'll see where else this takes us. But just try to keep in mind, I feel the need of compromise as well for some of you. Taurus is a fixed sign, just like Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. So sometimes if there's a lot of fixed energy within you, it can be hard to open up or to look at other options because we feel so stuck on, on one thing. All right, so definitely negotiating for some of you. All right, let's see where this takes us. I'm going to pull one from the Romance Angels. What else for Taurus, please? All right, Taurus. So we have getting to know each other. And we have express your love. All right, getting to know each other and express your love. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, so for some of you, this could have been a communication issue that I'm seeing. There's a lot about communicating, expressing. Maybe there has been a blockage in this relationship or situation or a blockage in your love life. And so the need to see how maybe there's been a lack of expression on your side or this could be the other person, but trying to see where those blockages are and what is the root to them, getting to the root cause of why there's been blockages or why there's been challenges here. All right, so I'm gonna pull one from the Archangel Power Tarot, see what else we have for guiding energies. What else for Taurus, please? Okay, Taurus, so yeah, we have the moon. So something here is giving you an opportunity to improve your plans. With the moon energy, it's about going deep, seeing what's in the subconscious. The opportunity to improve, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. All right, so I'm seeing this theme here, Taurus. At the bottom, we have Ace of Michael, which is the Ace of Swords. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay, so definitely communication for some of you. Maybe some of you think very deeply, but have a hard time expressing it. All right, so this is creating maybe barriers or these challenges with this moon energy. So the moon is the deep emotions within, what we feel, but not necessarily what we express. Opposite of the sun. When you think of that, the sun illuminates. So keep this in mind. All right, so I'm gonna pull some tarot cards. What is the energy, please, for Taurus? What do we need to know about this? What is the guidance? Okay, so we have temperance. I'm definitely seeing that fairness, the balance here with temperance energy, Sagittarius. So this would be needing to take the middle road, balance energies. You see one foot on the rock, one foot on land. It's a balancing of energies, yin and yang coming together, achieving a solution to a problem. So solutions with temperance. All right, three more, please. What is the situation surrounding this? So I can see healing and mending. All 
Yeah, we have the Hanged Man. We have the Page of Wands. So the Hanged Man, achieving a new perspective, seeing things from a higher view. The Hanged Man energy can feel a little bit stuck. So this is probably why the moon is coming up. Now Page of Wands is saying it's okay to move forward, expression, self-expression. The Page of Wands is like a get to work energy. The pages are about improving plans. And with the pages, because it is a younger energy, there's like a lot of excitement, um, a lot of oomph to this, but I do feel like there could be that battle of both these energies when I'm seeing temperance. It's like both sides of the equation. You have this page that wants to push forward, but you have the hanged man that is hanging here. So let me pull one more. What else for Taurus, please? Definitely improvement. All right, Taurus, so we have the Queen of Swords, yeah. So setting boundaries, speaking your truth, clearly communicating with the Queen of Swords energy. She's the watery aspect of air versus the king. So speaking compassionately, needing to say what's on your mind. Let's clarify some of these energies. So let's clarify that hanged man. Being true to who you really are, Taurus, is coming up. All right, let's clarify the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is also a card of surrender. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, there's progress. This is all about progress. Achieving what it is that you desire to achieve. What are your goals with love? Thinking about those things. How can you improve your plans? A slow and moving energy, so patience is needed. All right, and I want to clarify the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, please. Okay, sun energy. Yeah, so something needing to be illuminated. I mentioned the sun earlier. You now have the moon, you have the sun. You have the yin and the yang energy. So balance for sure. The yin is about receiving emotions. The yang is about that expression, powering forward. So I'm seeing there's probably a need to balance those two energies. Some of you may be more yin or some of you may be more on the yang side. Yang, masculine, yin, divine, feminine. So balancing those two energies out. And I feel like this will help to achieve balance in this situation. Some of you really may need to express yourself more when it comes to um, your patterns and relationships and taking a look at that. All right, so I'm going to pull two from Whispers of Love to close up this reading. What else does Taurus need to hear, please? Okay, yeah, we have the slow down card. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. So that is definitely saying to work on that yin energy, achieve the yin, slowing down, allowing things to unfold. You may wanna to try to control a situation for some of you. All right, so I'm gonna pull one more. Taurus the bull is typically slow but steady. Practice compassion, see things from a different perspective. <laughs> we have the hanged fan. I've been talking about perspectives this whole time, so very important cards here. Slow down, you may get ahead of yourself, maybe your mind kind of spins out of control, you get very excited. Um, so take some time to allow things to unfold, do your part, but definitely patience is needed with the temperance energy. This is about a timing thing, so timing could be off somehow, but practicing compassion, seeing things from another perspective, someone else's, a universal perspective. So nice energy, Taurus. Definitely healing, mending. The sun is like needing to think really positive. See things from a higher perspective. It's a rebirth energy. So new opportunities on the rise, thinking positively. Inspiration I'm seeing with the page of wands and the sun for sure. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.